and Happy New Year to all of you. We are yet again presenting all the games that we have for the cafe, uh, and we are eager to get started. So, uh, what do we have, Ole? You're not Ole, you're Jost. No, well, I edited him out when I was doing so. Oh, no. Uh, Ole have to do something, so he asked me to so step in instead. Okay, well, that'll do, I guess. What's with the hat, by the way? Oh, it's because it's not Christmas anymore. That was harsh. Yeah, well, it's over. Ah, oh, well, yeah, okay. New Year's over, Christmas over. It is, it is, but let's get going. So, yeah. what do we have? Oh, yes. Uh, by demand, we have Tarot. So, now you can predict your future and whatever you do with this kind of cards. And we also have the new Majesty game. Uh, which is about collecting cards and sets of cards and scoring points. Sounds a bit boring. Well, it's not. I tried it. It's turning to be one of the big uh, games this year, I think. Yeah, I tried it too. Yes, we have Yunta, the card game. Once again, it has been a bad year in Yunta land. Be the president, get all the money and backstab your opponents. It's fun. Like uh, the dice game and the big yes, game. Yes, just without dice. Hmm. And sunglasses. And this game is about saving lives and being best at it. So you're competing to be the best paramedic that there is and uh, scoring a lot of points. Seems a little bit strange that you're working together, but you are. And then you can win. Well, a war game about the last king of Scotland. Well, not in Scotland, but in Tanzania. And it is not featuring Forrest Whit Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker. Forrest Whitaker, yes, that's his name. Then we have uh, the Dolly Cellscape. It's a Danish uh, version of uh, Cards Against Humanity where you can add stuff like who dares nothing, gains nothing. I am going to bring Islamic State to the job interview and see how that goes. Well, it's about making jokes and having fun. Well, we have this card game about the Greek city of Polis. Uh, it's a very strategic uh, game and we have to choose the right strategy to win. Should be really good. And we all know we need more games about Greece. Yes. And Byzance. It's also a card game, not in Greece, in Byzance. Ever played Space Invaders? You can now play the flip ship. Even you can read the title upside down. I don't even know if you can play it, play it upside down though, but yeah. Shoot some spaceships. And uh, flip flip stuff yeah, with flip, your fingers. Flip, flip, flip. And Nanook, an old Steve Jackson game where you it's about Inuit uh, fishing and maybe getting eaten by a ice bear, card collecting game and, and bidding to get the cards. And of course I got this one. Yes, Monopoly Frozen. <laughs> it's you can play Olaf. Woohoo! That's 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 good. And for three player junior, you have kids, come and play Frozen Monopoly. It's in Danish. And if you like cute things, we have the cutest thing at all, rescue. Polar bears, data and temperature. Where you have, I have to show you this, this adorable, super cute uh, polar bear meeples. Well, so you're collecting temperature about the global warming and you, while well, you're trying uh, to prevent this this family of ice bears from dying, obviously. Uh, harsh theme, but very cute meeples. And then we have two new scenarios for time stories. The next. In the series is this about Templar Knights. Ooh, I'm, this is the next I'm going to play. I'm so looking forward to this. And this is still a drive about movie stars in the 80s. Ooh, and it's a tour major not only. Ooh. And then we have... If you combine two of the most popular games, what do you get? You have Flick em Up, where you have to flick stuff. And you have... Dead of Winter, which is about zombies. So in this game, you have to like, well, flick, not, not like that. flick uh, zombies. Like Otherwise, what? yeah, then they will die. I, I don't know about this one. We'll have to see. Jurassic Park. Well, it's about making dinosaur theme parks, and you, uh, yeah, get the most guests, and you actually have this bag with purple dinosaur meeple. Woo! It doesn't get any more cool than that. Can you get eaten, do you think? Yeah, uh, maybe. If you don't, feed your dinosaur, maybe. I don't know. Uh, and then we have... And? The Legacy of Dragonhold. If you ever tried what is in Danish called Svea Trollum, in English, fighting fantasy, where you know these books where you... This is a map. So you have these books uh, where you... 
go to a paragraph that says, your group of adventurers are here, what do you do? Well, you hit the old man and then you go to another page. Uh, several different scenarios you can play. Looks, is it a board game? Is it a book game? Who knows? It looks interesting. It's a game. Five in a row, advanced. Yeah, it's, yeah, basically just making crystal ball on a, for five of those. Pretty sure fun. So instead of three, you have five in a row. Yes. And this is the third, fourth, who knows, whatever number of installment of Civilization. Uh, a couple of years ago, it came out uh, the new Sid Meier Civilization. This is the newest, newest one, where they updated the rules and make it look all nice. Oh, Legends of the Fried Friend, a uh, Asian themed war game uh, about, yeah, uh, get the most territories and then you have level player files, and that is something we like here. A couple of months ago we got this game for the cafe. It's been a huge popular hit, well, no, I think it's been played once. Anyway, it's Monopoly with horse. It's Horseopoly. So, of course, we had to get more stuff from the farm, so we got Baconopoly, which is bacon, bacon and Monopoly together. together. It's, it's because even with bacon, you have to trade real estate. Is it good? It's Monopoly. So who knows? It has bacon in it. Fallout, the board game based on the computer game. This is really funny. This is a story-driven uh, exploration game, and uh, it's yeah. I tried it and I got beaten a lot, but it was really really fun. So. Come down and play this one. It is hilarious. Do you think you can combine these like yes, in a of game course, like this. with the dinosaurs yes. versus the oh. zombies and stuff like that? Uh, to where, where the hell? Okay, seriously, where the hell is Hula? Mm. Hey, he's over there. Hey, Hula. Hey, what yes. do you got for us? I have the game of the month, which is King Domino, or rather, it's not. It's Queen Domino, which is. King Domino on steroids. Like in King Domino, you will place your little king, queen, person, no, king, uh, on one of these tiles. At the end of the round, you will get it, and the, in, in, sorry, in the next round, you will get it, and then you will build your landscape around your little castle. But there is one kind of landscape in Queen Domino, which is not in King Domino, which is this red landscape, which you can use to build a city. There are these little tiles that are red on one side. They will give you points for either just points or points for something. And you will also get to build little towers and you'll have some very small knights which will, which will let you collect taxes as in you put them in your landscape with your stuff. There's also a nice little dragon which will kill one of these uh, things in the market. If there's something that you don't want the other the other players to to have, and we have the queen, which is well, she's kind of a bit competitive because she will be with the player who has the most towers. That's how queens are apparently. And at the end of the game, well, you score points just like in King Domino for having landscapes with a lot of crowns in them, and that's about it. That is the game of the month for January. Yeah. And you have probably, hello, noticed the nice shirts that we are wearing to mark our beautiful bodies and hoodies over here. Uh, you can actually buy them now at the cafe and be super like gangster and stuff. Well, that's if you want. See you next month for more games. And stuff. And stuff. <laughs>